Hey guys, uh, I'm back with another unboxing. Um, this one is not nearly as big as my previous unboxings. As you can see, it's just this one box. Um, it's all imports. Uh, as I'm sure most of you know, importing items from Japan is very expensive. So that's one of the reasons it's only one box this time. So I apologize if you guys are like kind of used to my huge ass unboxings that are just tons and tons of things. Um, but I've got about six items in here and I'm excited to show you guys what I got. Um, one nice thing about it, I think, at least for me, is that because I don't have a whole crap ton of things to show off, I can really just chill, you know, take it slow, and just really go in depth with what I'm showing. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy, and I will get into it. So we got the receipt, which is not important. Um, take that out. Take that. that. Alright. Uh, I guess I'll show you guys this first. Um, first up is 5 centimeters per second. I have heard so much about this movie. Um, for those of you who don't know, it's the same guy who did Garden of Sinners, Children Who Chase Lost Voices, those movies. Um, I've just heard so much about this movie. It's, it's one of the most talked about movies in the anime community. And I'm very excited to finally own it. Um, for those of you who don't know, I know it's all in Japanese, but for those of you who don't know, this is the global edition. So there are English subtitles on this. Um, so yeah. What I think I'll do, guys, is I'll show everything off, and then after that I'll just unbox it for you guys. Because there is some interesting stuff in here that I'm sure you guys would like to see. Um, the insides of. So next is Princess Mononoke. Uh, this is, without a doubt, the Studio Ghibli movie I hear about the boat uh, the most, next to like My Neighbor Totoro and Grave of the Fireflies. And the only reason I hear about My, My Neighbor Totoro so much is because he's basically the mascot of Studio Ghibli. Um, so yeah. Uh. Next is they, uh, these three, it's it's one series with three box sets. This is pretty much the main thing of the order, I'm really excited to own this. Um, and yeah, anyways, that is the, what's it called, Gargantua on the Virtuous Planet? Something like that. Uh, and yeah, you guys can see it's just a really nice chipboard art box set, which I'll be showing you, like I said, the insides of at the end of the video. Very excited to own these. These are really nice sets. And I can't wait to get into these and open them up for you guys. Um, this is... I'll show them in order, I guess. This is the second one. I don't know much about the plot, you guys. I honestly didn't look the plot up for this one. Because I really just want to go into it as blind as possible. All I can say is that I've heard pretty good things about it. And the third and final one. So yeah, three very nice box sets. And they contain the entire series and a whole bunch of extras that I'll get into afterwards. And finally, something I'm very excited to own. I'm so excited for this. That is the Steins Gate movie. Um, I'm just so pumped to finally own this. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I've said it before in my previous videos, Steins Gate is my favorite anime of all time. Fucking love Steins Gate. It is so good. If you have not watched Steins Gate, you guys, please do yourself a favor and watch it. It is just such a good... The only, two complaint, the only complaint I can really have is it starts out really slow. But other than that, it's such a phenomenal series. Um, so yeah, check it out, guys. Especially if you're into like time travel and all that kind of stuff. It also tells a really... I don't know if this is spoilers. It tells a really good love story. One of my favorite love stories in anime. And that's not even the primary focus of the story. So, uh, I just love this series so much. I rewatched it in, in anticipation of this movie. And... Honestly, I'll be honest, I was a bit worried that it wasn't going to 
um, stay up to my standards of like how I remembered it when I first watched it, but it totally did. Um, I regret even doubting it. It is as amazing as I remember it. It is still my favorite anime of all time. I just love this series so much. Um, and again, it like ended. It ended like perfectly for me at least. I thought the perfect was like perfect. I mean, the ending was like perfect. So I'm a little bit skeptical to go into this movie to be honest because. I'm not sure how they're going to go off from that ending that they of the series and what exactly they're going to do. So I'm a little bit worried, but nonetheless very excited for this movie. I'm going to watch it like right after this video. I'm done filming this. So yeah, I'm going to get into the smaller items first. I'll start with 5 centimeters per second. There's not really much to show in this set. It's pretty much like a Sentai set where you just get... Just a second. Yeah, okay. Um, it's pretty much just like a Sendai set where you get the case and the discs, nothing else. Just a really bare bones set. Um, okay. So there's the disc. And as most of you notice, the case is pink, which is kind of cool. And then we get this little booklet. I don't know what this is. Um, oh, it's in English. Oh, that's really cool, actually. Um, I don't know what this is, you guys, but it's in English, which is really, really cool, I think. That's a really cool feature, actually. I really like that. Okay. Um, and then I'll get into... Just want to note in it. Um, see, this is in like a little protective plastic case instead of like wrapping like most North American sets are in. Whoops. Um, which is one thing I actually really like about Japanese sets is how they send them in these plastic slip case things. I don't know what you want to call them. Um, it, I like that because I usually keep them in there and it helps keeps the releases protected <clears throat> a lot better than if they were just, you know. If they were just, you know, out in the open on the shelves. Um, anyways, here's the insides. I'll show you the guys these little booklets. Pretty simple. But that's what I actually like about the, these uh, releases. I actually really like these uh, releases of the Studio Ghibli movies that Japan brought out. Um, so again, like a little booklet. Uh, I'm assuming it's just a summary of the movie. I don't know, it's got some art in here which is kind of cool. It's all in Japanese, this one, which I don't blame them for. I mean, why would they um, put it in any other language? Um, and then the rest of the stuff is just unimportant, really. Except for these. This is kind of cool. It shows all the sets that have been released so far. They're all the same kind of style. Um, I do plan on getting more of these. I don't know when, because they're pretty expensive. But I do plan on getting more at some point. So... Yeah, that's that. Um, just one thing I do want to talk about about the set, actually, is that I really, really like these releases because of how simple they are, as I said. Um, just let me get this back in here. Um, it's just really, really simple, and it just looks really nice. Like, here, I'll just, I'll, just a sec. I'm going to get the American releases. Give me one second. So, what I don't like about the American releases is you get stupid stuff like this, like, on the cases. So, like, um, winner, best animated feature, uh, winner, Golden Bear <laughs> Award, best picture. And it's like, I, it, that's cool and all, but I don't want that on my case. Like, I bought it already, and it feels like, like, these are mainly here really just to sell it, how I feel. Like, you're gonna see this on the shelf, and a lot of people are gonna be like, oh, I won all these awards, I'm, I'm, and I'm more prone to buy it. Um, that's why I feel they put these quotes on here. 
and I just don't like that. And then you get shit like this. Um, stickers and shit like version, Francis, Tercetelli has it in English, I mean French subtitles, and then, oh, Blu-ray on PS3. And then it has all the friggin' voice actors listed and everything. It's just a bunch of crap all over it. Um, which I don't like. I just, I like this nice, simple, sleek kind of look that these releases have. Just nice and simple and just, they look nice. So yeah, that's the end of my little rant about that. Like, uh, you know what? I'll do this next because I feel the gargantua sets are the kind of the fanciest. Um, let me just get this out. And just uh, the, these Japanese releases, you guys, are just so nice. They're just so high quality. Uh, they're just really nice set uh, releases. So, that was a fake back or whatever, that's kind of what was hidden. And I'll show you guys the insides. Okay, so, first up we got the Digi Pack. And it's got nice art of the characters, it's just another awesome feature. Um, just really nice art on those, on Digi Pack, even more art right there has like all the main cast and then we have all the CDs um, so it comes with a drama CD, that top one, and the bottom one's a soundtrack and then the movie itself in the middle and then we have two more drama CDs um, I really wish these, uh, as far as I know, the only the movie has English subtitles. Um, I really wish they would subtitle like the drama CDs and whatnot. That would be so awesome. But, unfortunately, as far as I know, they're not. And, like, I don't know any sets. The only set I know that they actually subtitled the extras was the or Orimo, or Orimo Blu-ray box set. Um, but anyway, here's this booklet. I have no idea what this is. Because it's all in Japanese. I'm just assuming it's all this information about the movie. Um, oh wow. Oh my god. Holy crap you guys. Half this thing is like art. That's really nice actually. Half this. Look. Okay. I can't. I don't want to fold it all the way. But as you can see it's some art. And like this is all art. Like pretty much. That whole like. Like half the book is like art. Oh, this is really cool. I actually really like this picture. It's like a whole thing of like, if you guys can see that. Oh, this is really cool actually. I'm fanboying really hard over this right now. Uh, this is actually really cool. Um, yeah, and you just got more and more pictures in here. I won't show them all to you guys, sorry. So yeah, that's actually really nice. It's something that I, someone who doesn't speak Japanese, can enjoy. Which is really cool. And then the other half of this book is just character information, information about the movie. So, I don't want to look too much into this because I don't want to spoil myself or anything. Or risk spoiling myself. So, yeah. So that's that. That's the Steinsgate movie. So excited about this one. Cannot wait to watch this. All right, and now the fanciest sets I think in this uh, unboxing are the. I already showed you guys uh, the Gargantua sets. However, it's pronounced. Um. Okay. So that's the side that was like covered up by that false back kind of thing. And I don't know on the side it's got like this writing, it says Gargantua. Gargantia, I don't know exactly how to pronounce it. But I'll take this all out for you guys. There is a lot of stuff in here, you guys. These sets have a really like just a ton of extras and really cool things in them. 
So first and foremost, uh, the Blu-ray itself. Each set, I think, has four episodes, I believe. Uh, let me just get this open real quick. I gotta say, guys, I really do prefer this way of doing my videos. Just nice, slow, and chill like this. When, the, when I had those really big ones full of tons of items, I just really had to felt like I had to rush through it all. Mm. Sorry, I just had to open this one. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just really don't like the way I did it before. Like, I really had to rush through everything. I couldn't go in depth, hardly in depth with anything. These ones, I can just go nice and in depth, and I don't have to worry about the video being, like, two hours long because of, I have just... Alright. God damn it. Alright, alright there. Finally got it. Sorry guys. Um there, yeah, finally. Holy man. Yeah. Uh, so pretty simple. Um Nothing really special in here because all the extras are like in those bo um, in those booklets and whatnot, whatever. So yeah, pretty nice. Uh, next is storyboard book, um, which is awesome. If I could read it, that is. But I shouldn't complain. This is a really nice set. I'm happy to have it anyways. And it's just what it says, guys. The storyboards of the series. Um, yeah. I don't know what else to really comment on besides that. Just really, really cool. And this book is high quality, you guys. This isn't a cheap book. Like... This material that it's made out of feels better than most manga releases I buy. Like, no joke. That's how nice this is. And then we have a logbook. Again, like, just a really nice... Um, like, the material that they use th for this is... F really nice. Um, so you got a special drama CD. That's really cool. Um, okay, so that's a cover-up. I don't actually want to... Ah, screw it. It's already out. No, you know what? No. There. So I don't exactly know what a logbook is. To be perfectly honest. Okay. This is... I'm sorry, guys. This is coming off. Sorry. My bed is a mess already. Holy man. So, you got like a manga at the start, it looks like. A really small one. It looks like a really short little, as you guys can see. Um, so like I said, I just, I really don't know what this is, is, that, ugh, is exactly. Logbook, whatever that means. Um, looks like we have character designs here. And then we have, there's a lot of stuff in here guys, like, we have episode information is what this looks like, and I would tell you what the rest of the stuff is if I could, if I could read it. Unfortunately I cannot. Um, and then we get these postcards things. Um, I'll open them up for you guys, actually. Oh, okay, cool. That makes it a lot easier, actually. So, you guys saw the first one. There's a lot of them. Holy man, they give you a lot. Okay. So we have this one. We have this one. is really nice you guys I gotta say this release is so nice expensive but really 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 nice 
This is without a, without a doubt. Next to like the Gurren Lagann Blu-ray box set, this is without a doubt like one of the nicest sets I've ever bought. I'm not gonna lie. They just give you so much here. So yeah, those are all those. And that's that. Ooh, that's the first set. My bed is a mess. Holy crap! I have a mess to clean up after this, guys. Uh, that'll go there for now. We'll get into the second one now. That's the side that was missing. Um, and I know most of you guys will probably compare these releases to Funimation's like chipboard art box sets. I'm not trying to be biased here, uh, biased because just because it's like a Japanese release or anything like that. But this feels a lot nicer than uh, Funimation's chipboard art box sets. It really does. The material feels a lot nicer in my opinion. So there's the first CD case. Well, the only CD case in this release, in this, in this um, box set. And let's see how long it takes me to get this open. Sorry guys, I'm trying to get this open as fast as I can. Okay. Right there. Did it. Okay. Very similar to the first one. There's little things in here guys, but they're all in Japanese and they're not really anything of interest, to be perfectly honest. And more storyboards. Once again. It looks like, I'm just going to take a wild guess and because the OP and ED, I'm going to guess there's drawings for the opening and closing in here. Just a wild guess. Um, I think these are really cool actually just looking at these storyboards. I don't know what your guys opinion on these kind of things are. But I think they're actually really nice. Just like interesting to see, in my opinion. Kinda maybe what like scenes look like before they were finished. And for me these are the kind of things that are kinda nice to go and look back through after you finish the series. And then once again another log book thing. So, I'm just going to take this one out, like, straight up. Another special drama CD, as you guys can see. Um, and now they're in swimsuits, it looks like. <laughs> Before they weren't, I don't believe. Uh, again, same kind of idea, guys. Um, a, a little short manga. Um, you got some pictures here and there, but I don't really know what the point of them are. It's, they're nice. Um, got illustrations. Just really a lot of really cool stuff in here. So we okay, have some designs in here for some of the mechs. I think there's mechs in the series, I don't know. And just... A lot of really cool stuff. Looks like they have staff interviews and whatnot in here. Really, just a lot of really cool stuff. 
Um, and I'll show you guys these cards. Let's see here. Alright. First, we've got this really fan servicey one. And then we have that. Also, really fan servicey. Jesus Christ. Those tits are like bigger than my head. <laughs> Friggin' hell. Um, another pretty fan servicey one. No, they're bigger than like three heads. That's how big those were. Those were like monstrous. Jesus Christ. Anyways, that one's not too bad. What I really like about these kind of art cards is just seeing different styles of artists drawing the same thing kind of idea. I don't know why, I've always thought it was cool to see series drawn in a different art style. And they give you a lot. They give you a lot of these cards. Like they really do. Okay, that's that. And now on to the final one. Once again, the side that was kind of hidden by that kind of fake back thing. Get all the contents out of there, all the goodies, if you will. And let's just start off with, like with every other one with the CD case, which will take me a year to. Oh, I actually got this one. I got this one pretty early on, guys. Nice. So there is the 